Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to begin to master the VLOOKUP function really quick. Okay, so let me quickly explain the example we're working with here. We have a little data set here, as you can see. We have an empty column here called color. What we want to eventually do is fill in the colors for each of these flowers. Okay, what do we know about these flowers? Well, we know their species, sepal length, sepal width, sepal petal length, and petal width. Okay, but what we really care about is only the species. Why? Because according to this made up example, we're going to attribute the color for each row based on only the species. So, how can I do this? Well, first off, I have to have some kind of lookup table, some kind of way of attributing a color to each species and here is that table I've set this up on the side you could put this anywhere on even on another sheet if you like uh, so we see that setosas are gonna have the color red virginica pink and versicolor blue and that takes care of the three different types of species that I have in this column okay so how do I get these colors to their appropriate row well if it's a setosa I don't want to have to type red everywhere I see a setosa. Likewise, I don't want to have to type blue or pink for the others. I want an automated way to do this. I want a functional way to do this, especially if I have a lot bigger data frame than I'm working with here. So what we learn in this mini example is easily extrapolated to a giant data set. Okay, so let's use the VLOOKUP function to do this. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup, and what it will do is automate this process so we don't have to type the colors. So let's jump in. So we'll go to the very top empty cell under color and type VLOOKUP. Okay, open parentheses. We need to give this function four arguments. Each of the arguments will have a comma after it, except the very last one, of course. The first argument is what do you want to look up? Well, we want to look up the species. Be careful, you choose the one on the same row as the uh, cell that we're typing the function into, comma. Second argument is, where do you want to look it up? So that's the lookup table. Make sure you highlight both the columns there, okay? And before you go to the third argument, do a F4 on your keyboard. So you get the dollar signs around the lookup table, which makes that lookup table absolute, which means, very quickly, that that table won't change later when we move this formula down the, for the rest of these rows. Okay? If you're on a Mac, there's another way to do it, command uh, something. Okay, just figure that out. Comma. Next, we give it the column number, so that refers to the columns of the lookup table. This is considered column 1, this is considered column 2. So we want to make sure we choose column 2. Okay, to do that, we just type 2, comma. Finally, we have two choices, true or false, and what they actually mean is approximate or exact match. So let me just put it in general terms. Whenever you're looking up a word like we are today here, Satosa, Versicolor, Virginica, those are the lookup values. They're words. You will 99 out of 100 times, if not 100 out of 100 times, choose exact. So that is false. Okay? If you're looking up numbers, oftentimes you're not going to be getting exact matches, and that's when you use true. I've made plenty of videos on using VLOOKUPs in more advanced ways, including with the true as the final argument. Okay. Once all four pieces are placed, close the parentheses, hit enter, check that the formula works correctly. In fact, this is Satosa, and we should have gotten red. In fact, we did. Let's just not have to type this over again. The whole point was to make life easy. Let's just drag this formula down to the very last row. Check that everything worked correctly. Everywhere I see Satosa, it looks like I'm seeing red. Everywhere I see Versicolor, looks like I'm seeing blue. Everywhere I see Virginica, I'm seeing pink. And that, my friends, is the VLOOKUP function in a nutshell. Be sure to check out my other videos on my channel, Jaleer Academy. Subscribe, share, and like. If you want to see more advanced stuff, 
with the VLOOKUP function or other Excel functions. There are over 450 videos on my channel. Please check them out. Till next time, have a great day.